What's up, Freedom Family? Welcome back to another episode of the KYC Nullified. I hope you guys are doing great. Today, we will be discussing a lot of policies in one go. So, Freedom Family, are you ready? Of course you are. Iana, please drop my thumb. We will be talking about spam, deceptive policies, and scam policies. There are different categories under this guideline, and we will tackle each one of them. In order to understand each category, we must first dive into the basics of spam. This is what spam is according to YouTube. It's not okay to post large amounts of untargeted, unwanted, or repetitive content in videos, comments, private messages, or other places on the site. If the main purpose of your content is to drive people off of YouTube and onto another site, it will likely violate our spam policies. It's not okay to post large amounts of repetitive and or re-uploaded videos to your channel. If the main purpose of your channel is to monetize other channels' content, it will likely violate our spam policies. Now that we know what spam is, let's discuss these categories. First one up is artificial traffic spam. Anything that artificially increases the number of views, likes, comments, or other metric, either through the use of automatic systems or by serving up videos to unsuspecting viewers, is against our terms. Additionally, content that solely exists to incentivize viewers for engagement, views, likes, comments, etc., is prohibited. Videos and accounts that we found in violation of our terms may be terminated and removed from YouTube. Be aware that if you hire someone to promote your channel, their decisions may impact your channel. Any method that violates our terms of service can result in a video or channel takedown, whether it's an action taken by you or someone else you hired. Following that is misleading metadata. Metadata refers to any and all additional information provided on a video. This includes the title, description, tags, annotations, and thumbnail. The reason we have metadata is so that you can add additional contextual information to your videos. Please do not use these features to game or trick our search algorithm. All metadata should be representative of the content contained in your videos. Among other things, metadata added in an attempt to game search algorithms will lead to the removal of your video and a strike against your account. Another form of misleading content is misleading or racy thumbnails. Please select the thumbnail that best represents your content. Selecting a sexually provocative thumbnail may result in a removal of your thumbnail or the age restriction of your video. The thumbnail is the title card that will be shown next to your videos across the site and should be appropriate for all ages. This one is dangerous and no one should do this. Let's talk about scams. Some users create content which attempts to trick others for their own financial gain. Content that deliberately tries to mislead users for financial gain may be removed. And in some cases, strikes may be issued to the uploader. Last and the most heavy category is blackmail and extortions. YouTube has zero tolerance policy for extortions and or blackmail. If someone has recorded a sexually exploitative video for you and has sent the link, please flag this content immediately for removal and contact your local law enforcement. Okay, now we're done with that. I know that you're asking yourselves, no, how can you break it down? Well, I would say, I got you. It is not good to upload several videos that are untargeted, unwanted, or repetitive in content. And this rule applies also for comments and private messages. In addition to this, content that drives people off of YouTube can also be considered as spam. Now, there are different types of spam. The first one is artificial traffic spam. This kind of spam is they use bots or automated systems to increase their views, their comments, their likes, and other metrics that affects their ranking of their videos. The second one is misleading metadata. Do not abuse these metadata feature because if you overwhelm the system with additional metadata in your title, video descriptions, annotations, tags, and thumbnails, it will result to the removal of your video and it will have a strike on your channel. The third one in our list is misleading or racy thumbnails. If you're making your own custom thumbnails, that's good. But always remember that your thumbnails should be related to your videos. Also, if you put up sexually provocative thumbnails, YouTube will remove those thumbnails and age restrict your videos. The fourth one is scam. Do not make content that is supposed to trick other people for your own financial gain. If you have these kinds of contents, YouTube will remove those videos. The fifth one is blackmail or extortion. Freedom Family, this one is in the red area of YouTube. YouTube does not have any tolerance for these kinds of content. If you have sexually exploitative content, please, I urge you to delete them and never speak of them again. There you go, Freedom Family. That was quite a challenge, but we pulled it off. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from the rule of thumb because the next one up is KYC, the Nold edition. Let's go. Our first partner is Dimes. Hey there, how are you? I hope you're doing great. Let's take a look at your channel. By the looks of your channel, you have a lot of NBA games and Call of Duty games. And I'm guessing that you are really very passionate about video games. Great. 
let's take a look at your videos. In this video, it seems like you're just shooting around, practicing for maybe a 1v1 from your friends, and there's nothing particularly wrong with your videos. But if you look in the video description, you'll see there's a lot of metadata tags. If you abuse the metadata feature, YouTube will remove your videos because of it. Let's look at another video. Just like the first video, in this video you're having fun with your friends, having a 2v2 with your friends, and maybe having a competition with them to see who's the best basketball player. That's good. But when you look at your video descriptions, you can see a lot of metadata tags. Again, you're not allowed to abuse the metadata feature because if you do, your videos will be removed and we do not want that. All in all, I have seen three or more videos that abuse the metadata feature. Please do not abuse the metadata feature because if you do, YouTube will remove your videos and we do not want that. So I'm sorry, but I have to rate your channel as at risk. The next one is Libans. Hey there, what's up? How are you? I hope you're doing great. I see that your channel is mostly about creating music and making awesome beats. That's great. Let's take a look at your video. There is particularly nothing wrong with the video, but if you go to the video description, you'll see a lot of metadata tags, which is not allowed by YouTube. Let's look at another video. Okay, in this video, you are showcasing your DJ skills, which is great. But if you go into the video descriptions, there's a lot of metadata tags. You are not allowed to abuse this feature because if you do, your videos will be removed by YouTube. I like that you're making your own beat creating your own music, and building a portfolio for yourself. But if you continue to abuse the metadata feature, your videos will be removed by YouTube, and we do not want that. All in all, I would say that your channel is good, but I'm sorry, I have to read your channel as at risk. That's the episode, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from this. If you have any comments, suggestions, violent reactions, comment in the comment section below. Comment right now. I want to hear your thoughts right now. Okay, so my name is Noel and you're watching KYC Notified. Out. Hi, have you checked out our Freedom Forums? If not, well you should, because you will find me there alongside free channel assets like audios, banners, thumbnails, and a lot more. If you want to hang out with me or with our Freedom staff members, visit our Discord page. See you there.